students today i am going to start with the topic genetics so it it will be in a series so this is the part 1 in which i am starting with the introduction right so let us start and begin with the genetics genetics is a branch which is a, a branch of biology which is concerned with the study of genes right genes genetic variation heredity in organisms right so uh, gregor mendel a scientist he was the first to study genetics scientifically so mendel studied that uh, some of the traits uh, basically traits are inherited in the uh, in the in the pattern of inheritance patterns right so this means that some are the characters or some are the traits which are passed down from parents to of a spring so gregor mendel he was also he is still known as the father of modern genetics so he discovered the basic principle of heredity through the experiment in his monastery garden so he started experiment with a pea plant the scientific name of the pea plant is pisum sativum to observe that some of the characters in the pea plant are basically passed on to the offspring so some uh, some characters those characters were basically contrasting characters which are passed on to the offspring right so mendel uh, mendel's experiment showed that uh, the in, uh, some of the inheritance of certain traits in pea plant follows particular patterns right so his ideas were published uh, published in uh, uh, in a newspaper also and at that time there was a brunch society of uh, publication and uh, his ideas were published in 1866 but his work was still unrecognized because that brunch society was not known among the people at that time so gradually his work till his lifetime his work was unknown and it was not noticed by other but till uh, 1900 mendel uh, got recognition in his lifetime so this is the this was the year 1900 uh, when mendel uh, got recognition of his work so this work uh, this uh, recognition which he got it was uh, through the three scientist and those scientist were d varies corius and teschmark so in 1900 uh, in 1900 these three scientists they independently uh, rediscovered mendel's work they also found that uh, there is some pattern particular pattern which is inherited to the next generation so his work was again rediscovered by these three scientists d varies corius teschmark but this work was unknown till the mendel was alive when the mendel was uh, uh, dead after his death this uh, his work was recognized so these were the three scientists who discovered his uh, work so next came w watson now w watson he was the first who coined the term who coined the term genetics in 1905 again i'll repeat w watson was the first scientist who coined the term genetics in 1905 so i'm going to start with the next uh, to uh, topic continuation only that is heredity and variation now heredity and variation so what is heredity heredity is basically it's a transmission of traits from one generation to next generation right some of the genetic characters basically genetic characters are passed from one generation to the next generation basically it is a tendency 
on the part of the offspring to inherit the characters from the parent. I will come to the next uh, term that is a variation, right. So, what is variation? Variation is a diversity in the characters, right. In a population, you will see number of characters. So, that is what that is a variation, right. So, in variation there may be, uh, you will see different kind of eye color is there. Height of the uh, person also, uh, particular person height also it is of various uh, height you will notice. And uh, you may not, uh, notice complexion also, there is a uh, variant uh, uh, in uh, variation in complexion also. So, what is variation? Basically, variation is observed in heredity. So, basically this thing happens in sexually reproduction. Where does the variation occurs? Variation is found in the sexually reproduced offspring. But it is not found in asexual reproduction, right? Basically, when it happens in asexual reproduction, it happens through the mutation only. And what is mutation? Mutation is a sudden change in a genes, right? So, I hope uh, these two terms are clear to you. What is heredity and variation? I will repeat again. Heredity is a transmission of trait and what is trait here? Contrasting character from one generation to the next generation. So, as it is a tendency of the parent of the offspring to inherit the characters of the parents. So, you will notice that your characters are basically they are passed on from your parents and your parents may got uh, some of the traits from your grandparents. So, in this way what happens the characters are passed from one generation to the next generation. So, next topic is a variation. So, variation what is the meaning of variation? It means you will get number of things, number of uh, color, number of size which you will notice in a variation, right. It is related with the character. So, in a population you will not find everybody is equal to uh, 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 each other, that does not happen. So, in variation you will see it basically it is noticed in heredity and it is observed in sexually reproduced offspring. So, what is a noticeable point here? Variation basically takes place in sexually reproduced offspring. It does not occur in asexual reproduction. So, when variation takes place in asexual reproduction, it may be through the mutation, right? Now, I will start with another topic and continued with that topic only. So, with that topic, I will start with the mental experiment. So, let us see. So, after heredity and variation, I am again I am going to start with the Mendel's experiment. So, as you know Mendel, Mendel, exper, uh, Mendel experimented on a plant that name pea plant and its scientific name is Pisum sativum, right. So, he in the Pisum sativum, he basically observed seven, uh, seven contrasting characters. I right? will tell you what are the reason also behind selection of the pea plant also. But let us firstly uh, discuss some of the characters, seven characters which Mendel observed in a pea plant. So, first uh, character which he observed was a seed shape, right. So, what can be the shape of a seed? It may be a round, another may be a wrinkle. Right. Next one is a color of a next one is a color of a seed color. Right. So it may be yellow and green. Right. Next one is a pod shape that may be inflated or constricted. Fourth pod color. So pod colors here may be green and yellow. Flower color, it may be purple, white, flower position, 
it may be uh, flap position may be terminal or axial right stem length it may be tall or it may be dwarf so these are the seven characters which he observed in a uh, pea plant so these characters we need to learn also so again i'll start first one was the seed shape right so seed shape may be round or it may be wrinkle so there were the two contrasting characters so he considered two con uh, characters in the seed shape also that is round or wrinkle then next came that is seed color right so seed color was yellow or green right again two characters he considered then came pod shape pod shape means it's a outer covering of a pea where the uh, peas are found right so that pod shape may be inflated or constricted right and then came again pod color so the pod color again it may be green or yellow so pea flower were uh, purple or white next flower and pod position right so uh, flower and pod position may be axial or terminal next uh, last one was a stem length what will be the length of a pea plant so it may be dwarf or it may be tall so tall so these are the seven characters which mendel had considered right in the pea plant so these are the seven characters which mendel noticed in the pea plant okay so i'll again start with the seed shape right so round and wrinkle two characters he observed right but these two characters are not occurring in the same plant right it may occur in the next generation but not occurring simultaneously right so in the same way seed color yellow green may be in uh, next generation yellow or in uh, coming generation it may be green right pot shape inflated or constricted pot color green yellow flower color purple and white flower position where the flower are found that may be in axial position or they may be in the terminal position stem of a length of a plant that may be tall also and that may be dwarf also so these are the seven characters basically which were considered by the mendel in a pea plant so he has done this experiment till 9 uh, years i think so in 9 years he has done this experiment number of experiment he had conducted and he had collected all the datas and he had expressed expressed his datas properly in mathematical manner also that is why mendel's work was rediscovered by the scientist also because logically mendel was correct also right i hope student you like the video if you like the video please subscribe my channel and this is the part 1 of the genetics only it is not completed in the part 2 i'll start with the uh, mendel's experiment that is mono hybrid di hybrid we will uh, discuss more of the uh, points in the genetics in the next in the next part right so i hope you like and if you have any queries you can uh, send your comment also so please uh, consider my uh, this uh, uh, this uh, channel and so please like and subscribe it thank you